Okay, uh, of great interest, house prices. Um, everybody wants a sustainable recovery. Prices in London, the latest data I believe was a rise year on year, 18%. How worrisome do you believe that is? It is worrisome. I think that um, what you're seeing is, is that certainly in London, uh, prices are getting away from themselves and they are appreciating far too much. House prices are very, very difficult to, to predict and, and what might happen. Uh, and, and, and at some point, you know, not everything goes up in a straight line forever. Mm. What will be the catalyst? Difficult to say. I think that interest rate rises next year will have an effect that will take the froth out. Mm. There are political issues around the uh, house price as well. Uh, what if there's a change in government? You know, the, the opposition that are currently leading in the polls um, mm. are insisting that they will implement uh, something called a mansion tax, so okay. a tax on, on properties over say two million is what, what mm -hmm. uh, people are talking about. Mm -hmm. That will certainly take the froth out of the high end of the market and probably the London market as mm -hmm. well. That will definitely have a knock-on effect for the others. So there's both the economic argument and the political argument mm -hmm. in, in, the, in the housing market. But at the moment, there simply is not enough supply. Now, in the last month or so, uh, there, there's a little, been a bit of an increase in mm -hmm. supply. There's a few more properties mm -hmm. coming onto the market. We're into spring now. That's the time when the when when people are starting to look to move, look around, and say we should mm. see more, uh, you know, properties come on. That might help bring things in a bit. Okay. But um, you know, uh, will there be a crash? Will there be continuation of the spike in house prices? It's difficult to say. I guess, I guess from here on in, maybe to the end of the year, I think there's going to be still some upward pressure. Mm. But I would imagine that come interest rate rises, that might take a bit of steam out of the, the, the housing market. You mentioned the lack of supply. Is that a function of a lack of competition? Well, lack of supply is A, there aren't enough houses being built. Mm -hmm. B, everyone's uh, happy staying where they are at the moment. You okay. know. Um, there are obviously lots of people looking for houses, but um, you know, say for example in central London, uh, if you're being squeezed to uh, areas that are more affordable, mm. no one's selling their, their houses there. So it's very difficult to find anything at the moment. So there's a, there's a couple of reasons why there's no supply. Okay. Uh, and then lastly, uh, one called the euro dollar. It's a very heavily traded cross. Now it's benefiting, it appears, uh, if I understand you correctly, from portfolio flows. Do you think those will taper off and the euro will tend to depreciate? Yeah, they already are tapering off. Um, I mean, the euro is, at the moment, considered a bit of a safe haven. This is why it's appreciated so much. The conditions are improving. Things seem to be stabilised. The ECB always maintains that it will remain the backstop. There's a lot of things going for the euro. Um, inflows have slowed. The euro has... Um, well, the euro hasn't really depreciated much at all. It did initially after ECB last week when we had those dovish comments from Mario Draghi, but um, you know, people have discounted those now completely. Euro is still a popular place to be. So for us, you know, we, we feel that maybe 104 is, is achievable in the near term, mm -hmm. um, but beyond that, it might be difficult to see further Euros, um, euro appreciation. Mm -hmm. In particular, if uh, you know later on in the year that deflation, oh, sorry, I said deflation. Mm -hmm. I meant that inflation is still lower mm -hmm. than expected, and mm -hmm. uh, if there's more talk, more debate yes. around this quantitative easing, then I think that the upside for the euro is is limited. But I, I would say that 104 is certainly achievable. Mm -hmm. Deflation, very politically incorrect. On your part. Yeah, I'm sorry about that, but uh, everyone else is talking about it, so I couldn't help myself. Indeed. Angus Campbell, Senior Market Analyst, FX Rail, thank you very much for your time. Pleasure.